Groundbreaking new device that could make life much easier for millions of people living with diabetes. Federal regulators just approved an artificial pancreas that can monitor and administer insulin. More on how it works now from TV 1055's Dr. Max Gomez. Katie Helm was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was just five years old. In the 21 years since, keeping her blood sugar within a narrow, normal range has been a constant struggle. I'm constantly evaluating my situations. Where am I going? What am I doing? Is that going to affect my blood sugar levels? For most diabetics, that means a difficult, never ending routine of checking blood sugar, watching what they eat, and calculating insulin doses. But Katie took part in a clinical trial of an innovative device mm -hmm. that's been dubbed an artificial pancreas. So this is my sugar level at the moment. It combines a continuous glucose monitor that reads your blood sugar every five minutes and then sends the information wirelessly to an insulin pump that releases the precise amount of insulin automatically. The key is a computer algorithm that does those calculations faster and more accurately than any patient can. It looks at the numbers from a moment to moment basis and will proactively predict what's going to happen next and make clinical decisions that cannot be done at that rate. You would have to be standing and staring at your glucose sensor the entire day and night. Derek Rapp is the CEO of JDRF International, which funded much of the development of the artificial pancreas. It means peace of mind for them and for their loved ones. Uh, it, it allows them to lead fuller, uh, more complete lives. Katie showed me how her device helps keep her blood sugar in very tight control, critical to preventing the terrible complications of diabetes. But it's also given her peace of mind. It takes a lot of stress off of me as, as mentally thinking about it, but it also makes me feel better and physically have more energy and be healthier because it's keeping me in much tighter control. At first, the artificial pancreas will likely be for people who struggle to keep their blood sugar under control. And experts say these devices are going to get much better, but insurance coverage remains to be worked out. Dr. Max Gomez, TV 1055.